this class again and today I will discuss a very interesting and a very important topic that means the topics of derivatives under which we discuss mainly derivative of logarithmic function that means uh, in which kind of problems try to be solved by log method actually I in previous class in a, that means back to back class I have also done uh, one or two problems by log method still in this class properly I will discuss in very detail how can you solve uh, given problems by logarithmic function and in which condition try to be solved by that method I will suggest you as you know that if given function I suppose that a function y is equal to u into v then you can using multiplication then you can solve this question but suppose that there is given function u into v into there is given y is equal to u into v is equal to w into p in that case how can you solve because there are, I have already told you there is no any method I think you can solve this also but when you are trying to solve by general method it becomes more lengthy so how can you solve uh, in that means without wasting more time how can you solve that problem in proper time I will help you that, um, that means I will give you uh, other method to solve this problem similar way suppose that there is a given function in more complex form suppose that uh, fx is equal to given or y is equal to given uh, 1 plus x to the power 4 whole to the power 8 into 1 plus x2 in whole to the power 2 divided by uh, 1 plus e to the power x divided by pi now we have to solve this question how can you solve definitely you will think uh, how can we solve it it is very lengthy and whenever you are trying to uh, simplify the, this function it becomes very lengthy so in that case i will suggest you uh, uh, how can you proceed to solve the or in order to find dy dx that means dv derivative of given function with respect to x first of all i want to tell you whenever you will face such kind of problem such kind of problem try to take firstly both side log try to take uh, firstly both side log thereafter you have to differentiate on both side and you will get your answer correctly have you understood what do I want to? Whenever you will face given expression as it or as it. Also, I will mention uh, uh, other form, but uh, in the in this video, I will only tell you a given function is in this form or in this form. Try to firstly express, try to firstly take on both side log and simplify by taking log thereafter you have to differentiate on both sides with respect to x and you will get your proper answer of that question this is your concept of this video or this exercise see here topic will be der derivatives of or you can write logarithmic differentiation see here first problem y is equal to differentiate x plus 2 divided by x minus 1 by x plus 5 how can you solve you can solve i know firstly you will tell me sir i will multiply in denominator that means x square uh, plus 4x minus 5 and in, in numerator you will get x plus 2 divided by x square minus 4x plus uh, x square plus 4x minus 5 you can solve but uh, suppose that there are more than uh, in numerator there are also 5 terms and in denominator 6 terms in that case how can you proceed definitely it becomes more lengthy so I will suggest whenever you will get as it try to take first log on both sides taking log on both sides for right here you can also by so you can also solve by that method, but try to solve by this method because it becomes very easy for you. Taking log on both sides. In this case, LHS will be log y and RHS will be log x plus 2 divided by x minus 1 into x plus 5. This is your RHS. And suppose that this is A, this is B. In that case, it will be log A by B log a by b will be what log a firstly that means log x plus 2 minus log b minus log b that means x minus 5 x minus 1 into x plus 5 i think you understand now again this is your log x plus 2 minus a this is a product of two function and log a b is equal to log a plus b before it there is mentioned minus sign so it will be minus log 
x minus 1 minus log x plus 5. I think you understand very well. This is your sim this is your simplest form of this function. Log y is equal to log x plus 2 minus log x minus 1 minus log x plus 5. I think you understand very well. Now you have to differentiate on both sides with respect to x. Now you have to differentiate on both sides with respect to x very easily. Can I write this part? If you differentiate, you will get differentiating on both sides, you will get derivative of log y with respect to x will be derivative of log x plus 2 with respect to x minus derivative of log x minus 1 with respect to x minus derivative of log x plus 5 with respect to x. Now I want to write here, as you know that you cannot differentiate the log y with respect to x. First, I differentiate log y with respect to y. In that case, log y with respect to y will be 1 upon y. And again, you have to differentiate y with respect to x. In that case, you will get here dy dx, which is equal to derivative of log x plus 2 with respect to x. You cannot differentiate directly. So, first of all, differentiate log x plus 2 with respect to x plus 2. Again, differentiate x plus 2 with respect to x. In first case, you will get 1 upon x plus 2 into, again you have to differentiate x plus 2 with respect to x, in that case you will get derivative of x will be 1 and derivative of 2 will be 0, so 1 into 1 will be 1, minus derivative of log x minus 1 with respect to x, you cannot differentiate x log x minus 1 with respect to x, so first thing differentiate log x minus 1 with respect to x minus 1, which will be 1 upon x minus 1, that means minus 1 upon x minus 1, and again you have to differentiate x minus 1 with respect to x, which will be simply 1, and uh, here, Derivative of x log x plus 5. Log x plus 5, firstly, if you not understand, I, I want to write here the last step. Derivative of log x plus 5 with respect to first x plus 5, again x plus 5 with respect to x. Similar as here, similar as here. And its derivative will be 1 upon x plus 5. And to derivative of x plus 5 with respect to x will be 1. 1. So, do not, to, uh, here I do not like to write it. And finally, you will get dy dx is equal to y into 1 upon x plus 2 minus 1 upon x minus 1 minus 1 upon x plus 2 sorry x plus 5 and as you know that y is equal to what y is equal to given in your question what y is equal to x plus 2 divided by x plus 2 divided by x minus 1 into x plus 5 this is your y and write here the whole expression 1 upon x plus 2 minus 1 upon x minus 1 minus 1 upon x plus 5 x plus 5 this is your character of this question i think you understand very well now again we take next question for you see here you can see everything becomes very easy for you to solve this kind of this kind of problem if you take on both sides log it will be very lengthy but very interesting and very easy for you. See, question second. y is equal to h to the power 4 into under root x plus 6 divided by 3x plus 5 whole square. How can you solve? Simply, first we take log on both sides. It will be log y is equal to log x to the power 4 into under root x plus 6 divided by 3x plus 5 whole square. Now you have to simplify, as you know that, uh, uh, the, suppose that this is a, this is b. In that case, it becomes log a by b. And simply you can write log a, log a, log a, that means uh, x to the power 4 into root under x plus 6 plus log b, log b, that means log 3x plus 5 whole to the power 4. I think you understand. Again, log a into b will be log a. Sorry, there should be minus. Log a into b, a b will be log a. So it will be log x to the power 4 plus log x plus 6 1 to the power 1 by 2 because root represents 1 to the power 1 by 2. Minus. Can you take 2 here using a log property? I think you understand. But that means minus 2 log 3 x plus. Now, simply write here 4 times log x plus 1 upon 2 into 1 upon 2 into log x plus 6 minus 2 times log 3x plus 5. Which is what? Which is what? Which is what? Which is log y? Which is log y? 
I think you understand. Now you have to differentiate on both sides with respect to x. In that case, you will get derivative of log y with respect to x. In RHS, you will get derivative of log x with respect to x plus derivative of 1 upon 2 into derivative of log x plus 6 with respect to x. Again, in third term, minus 2 times log uh, 3x plus 5 with respect to x with respect to x this is your the uh, next step now if you understand now i want to write next step for you see here as you know that derivative of log y with respect to x cannot find firstly find derivative of log y with respect to x again the derivative of y with respect to x in that case you will get uh, 1 upon y 1 upon y into dy dx is equal to 4 times derivative of log x with respect to x will be 1 upon x plus 1 upon 2 into derivative of x plus c with respect to firstly x plus 6 again x plus derivative of x plus c with respect to x if you differentiate log x plus if you find derivative of log x plus 6 with respect to x plus 6 it will be 1 upon x plus 6 and derivative of x plus c with respect to x will be also don't write like to write minus 2 times derivative of log 3x plus 5 with respect to x firstly write here derivative of log 3x plus 5 with respect to 3x plus 5 which will be 1 upon 3x plus 5 into derivative of 3x plus 5 with respect to x will be 3 have you understood so dy dx will be it will go in it will go in numerator of this expression when it will go right side, definitely you will put its value. Definitely you will put its value as previous problem. And what is the value of y? What is the value of y? This. So firstly I want to write directly because there is no enough space to write again. So I want to write again. Its answer will be also very lengthy, but very easy, very easy. Only you need confidence and tech passage during solving. Otherwise everything becomes very easy for you. For my x plus 1 by 2 into 1 upon x plus 6 minus 6 by 3x plus 5 you can see so easy to solve this problem only need you patience and uh, I say, I simply during simplification try to solve correctly because simplification is more important for you otherwise everything become very easy only use uh, property of log and proceed have you understood okay now we take again next problem for you Just, uh, better understanding There are two or three pattern questions in this exercise and in this video I will discuss mainly only single pattern question. I will not discuss more than one pattern question. Uh, next question see here, question third. Y is equal to x square plus 3 whole to the power 4 into x square plus 5 whole to the power 2 and you have to find dy dx. Simply, firstly, take log on both sides. Right here, because there is no enough space, so I do not like here. But try to always write here, taking log on both sides. If you take log on both sides, you will get log y is equal to log x square plus 3 whole to the power 4 into x square plus 5 whole to the power 2. And you know, suppose that this is a, this is in that case, it becomes log a into b. Log a into b will be what? Log a, that means log a plus log b in place of b is equal to x square plus 5 whole square now 4 will come here it will be 4 times log x square plus 3 plus 2 times log x square plus 5 i think you understand very easily you can see what uh, so easy everything very easy now we have to differentiate on both sides with respect to x if you differentiate on both sides with respect to x it will be d log y with respect to x will be 4 times derivative of log x square plus 3 with respect to x with respect to x plus 2 times derivative of log x square plus 5 with respect to x with respect to x I think you understand one minute wait because ink has ended you can see everything becomes very easy only uh, you need basic of logarithmic function uh, otherwise everything becomes so easy in this exercise Now, it becomes 
Next question 4. Y is equal to e to the power x into cos qx into sin square x. And we have to find dy dx. How can you solve? See. Firstly, take log on both sides. In that case, it will be log y is equal to log e to the power x into cos qx into sin square x. Because you have to know that this function is in very complex form. It is in multiplication but more than two terms. As you know that you have only uh, rule for two terms as a multiplication. That's why I will take log on both sides. After taking log on both sides, you will get in RHS log y. Uh, but in RHS you will get log e to the power x plus log cos 2 e to the power x plus log sin square x. In RHS you will get log e to the power x. Do you know here there will be this one? E, log e to the base e will be what? x because x can be taken as out of it. In that case, there will be log e and plus. And there is in base there is an e which has height and log. And this 3 will become as a coefficient of log cos x plus. This 2 will become again here log 2 times log sin x. Its base will be height again e. There is also e. Now it is your log y. Differentiating or no? Depreciating on both sides with respect to x, you will definitely get derivative of log y with respect to x. It is equal to x because this is not because log e will be 1. Log e will be 1 because log e to the base e. Base is e, so log e to the base e will be 1. So you can write here directly derivative of x with respect to x plus 3 times derivative of log. Derivative of log cos x with respect to x plus. Uh, take uh, 2 out of it and differentiate derivative of log sin x with respect to x. I think you understand very well. Now, firstly, differentiate derivative of log y with respect to x. You can't find so firstly write here. 
derivative of log y with respect to y again right derivative of y with respect to x derivative of x with respect to x will be 1 plus 3 into derivative of log cos x with respect to x you cannot find directly that's why first you differentiate log cos x with respect to cos x which will give you 1 upon cos x and again differentiate cos x with respect to x which will give you minus sin x plus 2 times derivative of log sin x with respect to sin x first which will be which will give you 1 upon sin x and again differentiate sin x with respect to x which will be cos x now you can see here can I have this part only it is lengthy otherwise very easy for you my side in whole exercise it is most easy chapter 1 upon y into dy dx 1 upon y into dy dx is equal to 1 plus, 1 plus 3 upon cos x that means 3 upon sin x by cos x there is minus so it will be minus 3 10 x sin y cos x 3 10 x plus cos x by sin x will be what 2 times cot x, 2 times cot x, this is your expression, so dy dx is equal to 1, y times this term, y is equal to 1, this so I want to write directly e to the power x into cos 2x into sin square x into 1 minus 3 10 x plus 2 cot x, this is your answer of this exercise, have you understood? Now, again take next question for you, for you see it. Question 6 y is equal to cos square x into 2 to the power x square into x2 minus 2x plus 1 divided by 10x into cos x into e to the power x minus 2. Now you can see this question and if you try to go as simple way you will definitely go you will definitely fall in your trap. So I will suggest you uh, what is the way through which you can easily solve. Definitely you will take log on both sides because there is no any other option for you. Before taking solve uh, solution, firstly taking log on both sides. Right here. Taking log on both sides. If you take log on both sides, in RHS you will get log y. While in RHS, while in RHS you will get log cos square x into 2 to the power x square into x2 minus 2x plus 1 divided by 10x into cos x into e to the power x minus 2 you can simplify it as well but uh, don't simplify direct affect more now suppose that numerator terms is a and denominator terms is b definitely you will take you will tell me sir this is log a by b in that case after simplification it will go go log cos square x 2 to the power x square into x2 minus 2x plus 1 minus log 10x by cos x you can write directly sin x because 10x equal to sin x by cos x and uh, cos x cos x eliminate each other and you will get simply sin x into e to the power x minus 2. Now if you see it is a product of three terms log a into b into c definitely you will write here log a that means log cos square x plus log b 2 to the power x square plus log c that means x2 minus 2x plus 1 minus log a into b that means minus log sin x plus minus minus log e to the power x to the power uh, e to the power x minus 2 i think you understand very well here. now log cos square x will be 2 log cos x plus you can take x square out of it and there will be log 2 so only you have a property of log it will be log x2 minus 2x plus 1 minus log sin x minus x minus 2 and there will be finally log e to the base c which will be 1 so do not like right here now I want to rub this part if you understand rub this part this is your log y now I can differentiate on both sides with respect to x 
there is no enough space i will step uh, i will write every time a step so sometimes you have to understand by the intuition idea if you differentiate this term we will definitely get right here differentiating on both side with respect to x there after you will get 1 upon y dy dx which will be two times derivative of log cos x with respect to x will be what will be what derivative of log cos x with respect to x firstly you will get firstly you have to differentiate log cos x with respect to cos x in that case you will get 1 upon cos x again you have to differentiate cos x with respect to x in that case you will get minus sin x and plus and plus that as you know that log 2 is a constant so you can take out of it and derivative of x square with respect to x will be 2x so you can write directly 2x into log plus derivative of log x2 minus 2x plus 1 First, the differential log x2 minus 2x plus 1 with respect to x2 minus 2x plus 1. In that case, you will get 1 upon uh, 1 upon x2 minus 2x plus 1. And again, you have to differentiate x2 minus 2x plus 1 with respect to x. In that case, you will get what? 3x minus 2. 3x minus 2 because you will get the, you will differentiate in numerator. Minus derivative of log sin x. Derivative if you differentiate log sin x with respect to x. First, differentiate log sin x with respect to sin x. Again, you have to differentiate sin x with respect to x. If you differentiate log sin x with respect to sin x, it will give you 1 upon sin x. And in second step, if you differentiate sin x with respect to x, you will get cos x. And derivative of minus, sin x, oh, minus x minus 2, simply you will get minus 1, uh, which is yours before final step it. And so dy dx will be, it will go in right side in numerator, definitely it is a multiplication. In multiply, if it goes in multiplication, definitely you will write here. So it will be cos x squared because it goes here, it will be y times whole expression y is equal to what? This term, so I want to write here cos square x into 2 to the power x square into x x2 minus 2x plus 1 divided by 10x into cos x into e to the power x minus 2 into minus sin x by cos x will be what? Minus 2 into 10x minus 2 into 10x minus 2 into 10x and this is your plus 2x into log 2 2x into log 2 this is what this is your 3x square minus 2 divided by x2 minus 2x plus 1 x2 minus 2x plus 1 minus cos x minus sin x will be cot x minus 1 this is your answer of this question see look here <laughs> you can see this problem only answer is so lengthy it is so lengthy its answer otherwise you can see there is no issue to solve this question very, that means uh, uh, critically or very lengthy more complicated only you need patience and manipulation that means calculation is strong you can easily proceed to solve this kinds of problem only it will take long time but very easy for you have you understood if you understand uh, then I will take again next question for you. If you wish uh, or if you try to solve this question general by, uh, by general method, that means only using uh, quotient rule and multiplication rule, at least it will take 10 pages, 10 to 15 pages it will take. So I will always tell you, do not try to take or do not try to solve this question by general method. Have you understood? Now, See this question. Now, see this question second method. Suppose that y is equal to sin x into sin 2x into sin 3x into sin 4x. And you have to find dy dx. And you have to find dy dx. How can you find? It is also very easy and so interesting. See here. Simply, firstly, take because there is if you see this question, you will definitely tell me, sir, it is the product of four functions. Definitely you will fall in trouble. So I will def tell you, firstly take log on both sides. If you take log on both sides, in LHS you will get log y, and in RHS you will get log sin x into sin 2x into sin 3x into sin 4x. I think you understand very easily. Now, if you take, if you use property of log in LHS, you will get log sin x plus log sin 2x plus log sin 3x plus log sin 4x. 
Have you understood? Now, if you differentiate on both sides with respect to x, then you will get derivative of log y with respect to x will be uh, differentiating all terms. Firstly, differentiate log sin x with respect to x. Again, differentiate log sin 2x with respect to x. Again, differentiate log sin 3x with respect to x. And final term will be log sin 4x with respect to x. I think you understand me. Now, as you know that derivative of log y with respect to x will be what? 1 upon y into log y uh, dy dx. 1 upon y into dy dx because derivative of log y firstly differentiated with respect to y. Again, derivative of y, that means again dy dx. So it will be 1 upon y right here. You can write here differentiating on both sides with respect to x. Then you will get it. Now I want to write directly 1 upon y dy dx because there is no enough space to write. Now, if you differentiate log sin x with respect to x, you cannot differentiate directly. That's why I will tell you, firstly, differentiate log sin x with respect to sin x, again, derivative of sin x with respect to x. If you differentiate log sin x with respect to sin x, it will be, it will be 1 upon sin x and to derivative of sin x with respect to x will be cos x. Well, similarly, derivative of sin 2x, derivative of log sin 2x, firstly, with respect to sin 2x, which will be, which will be 1 upon sin 2x. 1 upon sin 2x, 1 upon sin 2x. Again, derivative of sin 2x with respect to 2x will be cos 2x, cos 2x. And again, you have to differentiate derivative of 2x with respect to x, which will be true. So I want to write as a multiplication. Similarly, there is also, I want to write directly, cos 3x into 3 divided by sin 3x. Similarly, cos 4x into 4 divided by cos uh, sin 4x. This is your. I have directly differentiated. That means uh, more than two or three steps I have written compactly. Now I want to have this part. I want to have this part. Now you can tell me, sir, dy dx, dy dx, dy dx, dy dx, and this 1 upon y will go in the right side. In that case, y as a multiplication in the whole expression of RHS. That means y times, y times whole expression, what is the value of y? Value of y is this, this, this. That means sin x into sin 2x into sin 3x into sin 4x into cos x by sin x will be cot x, cos x by sin x will be cot x. 2 times cos 2x by sin 2x, that means 2 times cot 2x plus 3 times cot 3x, 3 times cot 3x plus 4 times cot 4x. This is your answer of this question. This is your answer of this question. You can see everything becomes very easy. Only you need the patience and calculation power to become more strong. In that case, you can solve the whole question of logarithmic differentiation so easily. Now, I am trying to discuss again some new talk. That means not new topics some different kind of problem which is also solved by differentiation that means logarithmic differentiation which is also solved by logarithmic process that means it also comes in this topic now firstly i want to write what is the format of this problem format of this problem may be variable to the power variable suppose that actually i have already told you if if given expression is equal to x to the power n, you can differentiate it because x is a variable and is a constant. If given problem y is equal to a to the power x, a is constant, x is a variable, you can differentiate it. But if given problem is variable to the power variable, how can you solve? And I have already told you in previous class, in which condition when you get, when your problem is in form of variable to the power variable, Try to always solve given problem by logarithmic problem, lo logarithmic process, or either logarithmic process or either logarithmic process or exponential function. But uh, if you try to solve exponential function, definitely you will use again logarithmic. So I am always telling that process is called logarithmic process. And there are two important property of law. Remember it. Remember it. Suppose that there is a fact fx is equal to e to the power log fx. Be careful. You can write fx 
add it, add it. You can write easily. Remember, it is very, very important for you. Have you understood? Now I am trying to uh, solve such kind of problem. Suppose that there is a given function y is equal to x to the power x. Sometimes the students confuse about taking it and directly differentiate it x into x to the power x minus 1 using derivative, using formula of just return the derivative of x to the power with respect to x. In the, definitely it becomes very wrong for you. So I will suggest if a given problem is variable to the power variable, do not try to go by that method. There are two methods I will suggest you. First method. First method, see here. The, uh, taking log on both sides. If you take log on both sides, it becomes log y and it becomes log x to the power x. As I have already told you, always base will be e in calculus. So it will be log y is equal to x times log x. I think you understand that. Right? Now you have to differentiate on both sides with respect to x. In that case, if you differentiate on both sides with respect to x, you will get d log y with respect to x. d log y dx will be derivative of x log x with respect to x. I think you understand. If you differentiate log y with respect to x, you will get log y with respect to y. Firstly, uh, there you differentiate to y with respect to x. Have you understood? Right. You can write here differentiating on both sides with respect to x, then you write here this step. Now, you have to differentiate this expression. Firstly, take log x out and differentiate x with respect to x. Plus, again take x out and differentiate log x with respect to x. I think you understand. This will be 1 upon y into derivative of y with respect to x. And it will be log x plus x into derivative of log x will be 1 upon x. 1 upon x into x will be 1. So, dy dx will be y will go in numerator of RSS which will be x to the power x. So, I want to write x to the power x into 1 plus log x. This is your answer. That means derivative of x to the power x with respect to x will be x to the power x into 1 plus log x. This is your character. But mostly students confuse and he writes x into x to the power x minus 1. This is wrong. Not true. This is wrong. Wrong. Not true. So be careful by taking it. Whenever you get your question is of the form derivative to the power of variable. Variable to the power variable. Try to go always by taking log method. This is your simplest method to solve these kinds of problem. Have you understood? This is your first problem. And uh, I hope mostly your examination directly asked your this question. Differentiate x to the power in objective. Differentiate x to the power x with respect to x. Definitely you, you can write yeah, and its answer will be very simple. X to the power x into 1 plus log x. I think you understand. Now, uh, this is your first method. Now I will give you second method. That means alternative method. This is your first method. By taking log. And second method, see here. What is your second method? Y is equal to e to x to the power x. You can write, we have y is equal to x to the power x. Can you write y is equal to e to the power, e to the power log x to the power x. Can you write? Because I have already told you, fx can be written as, fx can be written as e to the power log fx. In place of fx, there is given x to the power x. What is this x to the power x? x to the power x is fx. So I have written here, uh, x to the power x is equal to e to the power log x to the power x. Now, it becomes how? It becomes e to the power x log x. Can I write? Can I write? Can I write? Have you understood? Now, y is equal to this. Now, you have to differentiate. Differentiating on both sides with respect to x, you will get implied that dy dx is equal to derivative of e to the power x into log x. As you know that, first I like want to help. As you know that, as you know that, e to the power x log x e to the power something, e to the power something, e to the power something is differentiated first, firstly some, with respect to something. So I want to differentiate e to the power x into log x with respect to first which function? x into x into x into log x. Again differentiate x into log x with respect to x. You can differentiate directly x into log x with respect to x. So I have written here directly. 
Now, in second step, you can tell me, sir, derivative of e to the power something, suppose that this is p, then the definitely it will be p. Derivative of e to the power p with respect to p will be e to the power p. So it will be e to the power x into log x. Can I write? Can I write? Now, that now you have to differentiate it. How can you differentiate it? Actually, x into log x, it is just as a product rule. So, firstly, take log x out and differentiate x with respect to x, it will, it will be 1. So, don't write because no use of it. And again, take x out of it and differentiate log x with respect to x, it will be what? What? It will be what? It will be 1 upon x, x, x cancel, and you will get e to the power x into log x. And 1 plus log x, 1 plus log x, 1 plus log x. Now you will tell me, sir, what is this? What is this? What is this? Now if you see your question, if you see your question, what is this? e to the power x log x. What is this? e to the power log x to the power x. What is this? y e x to the power x. What is this? This is y. So you can write directly x to the power x. Because everything becomes same. This is what? This is why? This is why? This is why? So you can write directly x to the power x. So don't worry. 1 plus log x. You can see. You can solve it this way also all the problem. Now it depends upon you. How do you feel by taking it? And uh, how do you feel by taking this kind of problem? Otherwise everything becomes very easy for you. And I think you understand very easily all concepts and next class because this class becomes uh, definitely uh, <coughs> more hectic for you because problems are very lengthy as well as problems are standard level so I will uh, only attend today only 45 minutes in this class and next problem of this exercise uh, which is of the four variable to the power of variable more complicated more complex problem i will discuss in next class which is relevant to second which comes under second form of logarithmic differences thanks all of you by all of you and again next class i will discuss remains problems that which comes under this exercise by all of you